Hello, the following video you are about to watch is an extract from my new course and book, Atomic Note-Taking. So enjoy the video, and if you want to check out more about the course, go to atomicnotetaking.com. You're looking at the amount of work you need to do to take your fleeting notes, to literature notes, to permanent notes, and then think about all those notes to create original insight and then create some projects. It can be quite overwhelming. And you might think, who has the time to turn fleeting notes into literature notes when I could just go straight into permanent notes and cut out that process? Now, I'm not here to tell you what you should or shouldn't do. And I've reasoned about it in the other videos that by having the literature notes, it avoids the confirmation bias and allows you to think more critically about that new piece of material. But here are some tips in terms of how you can approach this if you can't quite justify the time, but you know you want to put it into your workflow. So first of all, you want to batch your workflow. You don't want to do too much. You don't want to say, I've got to get all these literature notes, all these fleeting notes into literature notes before I can do anything else. No, just try and do small amounts, but consistently. So batching your workflow can really help. Separate out the fleeting note generation, so reading and creating your fleeting notes, the literature note creation, and the permanent notes creation. Put those as three different activities that you can do and just have the, the little batches of workflow to you know, notes to go through when you work on that. I find time boxing is also very helpful. I use a time timer. So I've got one of these things here and I could just say, right, this activity that I'm doing, I'm just going to do it for 30 minutes. And it sort of frees you. Of course, when it goes to zero, you get a beep as well. And of course, it frees you from thinking about anything else. You can just focus knowing that you're not going to lose yourself. You you have that permission to just immerse yourself in this one task. And that task could be anything. It could be organizing your inbox. It could be um, yeah, writing up a brief on a, on a project. So time boxing, I find, helps really well. You also want to look for the imbalances. So you might be feeling that it's a bit of a futile effort because you might have so many so many fleeting notes and very little literature notes, but you're trying to time box putting effort in your permanent notes, for example, just work more on the fleeting notes, build, you know, unblock it, get the content flowing through, make it fun. Um, and I think this is really important. We're not doing this because we have to do it. It's got to be fun. It's got to ex uh, allow us to express our creativity. And I think there's an element of appreciating the discipline of doing something consistently and that can be a reward in itself so find the things that allow you to remove the stress and just say hey you know i don't have to do this but i get to do this right i can look at this as a positive thing rather than a chore and then finally do trust the process you know you've invested an awful lot into understanding the settle cast and at this point don't give up too soon give it a go. Just make a commitment to say, I'm going to do it for 30 days and see what happens. And then you reflect on it and you think, well, is it working? If it's not, why not? And just adjust, tweak. Don't give up too soon. So yeah, I hope that gives you a bit of a bit of a uh, an insight into like what you can do when you feel like, you know, it's a lot of work. I just can't justify the time. But with those techniques, you might get somewhere.